Hey everyone, and welcome to the CoronaCast, words of hope in a land without hand sanitizer. I thought that we might play the song Blessed Assurance today. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit. Washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. Perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on the sight. Angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Savior all the day long. Our reading today comes from Matthew in the 13th chapter. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there. Well, the whole crowd stood on the beach and he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. I used to hate this Bible verse. Um, I always thought that it was so bad that there were times when Jesus would thro so throw seeds on the ground and some people would hear it and it would spring up and it would die. Others would never hear, hear it until my grandfather's funeral. Um, one of the things about my family is we've become a Levitical family. You know, the, the, the Levites were the priestly family back in the Old Testament. And there's myself, I'm a pastor. My dad, he's a pastor. Uh, my uncle, he's a pastor. My wife, she's a deacon. My cousin married a pastor. So whenever someone says Pastor Schaefer, there are plenty of us around. But Uncle Dwayne, when my grandfather, who was a farmer, died suggested a verse. The first one he said was Psalm 46, and the second one he wanted was the parable of the sower. And I began to think about what my Illinois grandfather taught me about faith. And I realized that Grandpa planted every year. And this was a man who lived and farmed through the Depression. This was a man who lived and farmed when corn was king and knew that sometimes and in some years, the same ground would produce, and then others it would not. And so I think about this. There are times when my heart is hard and doesn't want to hear God. And then there are times when I am open to whatever it is that God is calling me to do. But just like a farmer who sows seeds, God doesn't come to us once with an invitation. And if we refuse or forget or reject that we're done. Instead, over and over, we are tended and we are till until that spirit, until that love is ready to take root. I have full confidence that God is at work in each and every one of us, that even on those days when it seems like nothing good can come out of anything we do, that God is present and at work. Let us pray. Great and gracious God, we take assurance in the fact that you are ours, that your light and love guides and grounds us. 
watch over us now and in the days to come. In your name.